Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Plugnasty here, bringing some Witcher 3 uh, gameplay of the new update. So I'm going to show you the user interface that they changed, the world map that they changed, shit like that. They even changed. Oh, that's nice. Now you can see, <laughs> I didn't even realize this, I'm playing it for the first time in a few days. On my fucking fourth playthrough, it's my maxed out new game plus. So now it tells you the name of the plant before you gather the ingredients. And you can see that they added a border, they had like a nice white border around it which makes everything look cleaner and smoother. I do feel like there was a graphical upgrade. I don't know much about graphics and shit that's possible, but it does look way better. I mean, not way better, but it looks better, it looks cleaner. And they changed a lot of shit. Sorry about that loud thing in the background, it's my PS4, so hopefully that won't get in the way too much. So let's start with meditation. I know they changed this. They had little pictures on the uh, midnight and all that shit. That's not too big of a deal. I knew they were changing this. You still can only have 12 things active at once, which sucks. But, you know, they don't want to make you too powerful. Especially not like I need it. I fucking beat the game, New Game Plus Death March. To get the Platinum Trophy for it. They changed the Mugen pictures, which is nice. Changed this. It all looks like that. You see that border around it? They changed that. They added that to pretty much everything. These mutagens don't look as good. The greater ones look really cool, but the <laughs> my fucking monster ones don't look nearly as good. So let's go to quests. They changed the quest log. I'm uh. So I don't know if the level's in the middle, and then they have. Or no, the quest will be in the middle. I've done every quest in the game, sorry. Oh, here it is. Yeah, look at this. So you got the quest and what your objectives are in the middle, and description on the light still. That's really nice. And then they changed it where it is. They got the little picture of it, which is cool. I'm currently waiting for Blood and Wine to install, too. If you wonder, I'm not playing that. I'm doing this video. They changed the map. You can zoom out farther on the map now. You can get a fucking full view of the map, which is really cool. And then if you zoom in farther, still you zoom in about the same. They added this over in the bottom left-hand corner. Kind of like Grand Theft Auto, where, you know, you can look at the different places it will take you around the map to a different monster nest if you want to do one of those so that's really nice and much needed I'm currently going to this one place it's the one place it glitched out and oh now the question mark actually went away before I went to clear this out and the question mark wouldn't go away but now that I came back here it went away so they fixed that glitch which is good don't think they added anything new to this it's the same I won't do that one yet, but I have. So, and then if you zoom out, now they have it. If you zoom out all the way, it won't go to the world map. The world map is down in the bottom uh, right hand corner, so we'll go to that. They don't got like the, uh, there's no shadows around it now, it's just the uh, shield. And then Skellig, actually, I was looking at Skellig's map earlier. Skellig is really nice how it zooms out now, so now you actually can tell which island's which. I know hard skeletons are the only one I can remember, and Unfix over here. I haven't done all the question marks here, it's just too fucking many. But I have done all the question marks in Novograd, Velen, White Orchard, and Caramoran. So that's something. Let's go to inventory. Inventory is the biggest change. So they separated weapons and armor, which is really nice. And the I like the, uh, the glyph and the rune separation. I did have that armor on, but now I see I need to get one more level. They added fucking upped it by one level, so now I can't wear it. So now I gotta try to get a, another level in before we head to fucking Tucson in a couple of hours. So that's a nice, uh, much needed change. Weapons and armor are separated. I assume they will be in the stash too. I'll try to get to over to a stash so I can look at that because I wanted separation in there. Oils, potions, and bombs. That's very nice. They changed the pictures on, um, a lot of the potions still can't cha tell them apart too much but better than before I guess if you can remember them I'm glad that they separated they separated food and drink too so I don't have to go through all my food or all actually oils and potions are on top to get to the food quest items and other they took away the books tab they moved it somewhere else actually I'll show you that in a minute so you know quest items are with other here I gotta go through my other shit too Let's see if they change the font on this, actually. Yep, they did change the font. Ooh. Now you can go across. That's kind of cool. 
All right, all right, I like that. They changed the font a little, added the border. And then crafting and alchemy are together. I played this game. I'm like, I'm on my fourth playthrough. This is my third playthrough. I'm maxed out New Game Plus on Death March, and then I still don't know what half this shit is for. You know, my fourth playthrough. I'll probably go and sell some of it so my game will start lagging so much when I'm in the inventory screen. But then you get over here. They still they separated weapons on this side and consumables. Roach and armor on this side. If you go into player stats, well you, can, yeah, you just need to click it. Then you can move around Geralt so you can try on armor. Which is cool. Let's go back up that. Let's go into alchemy. If it would ever load. They changed this now, so if you're going through it, you see that triangle, you can just press triangle to close it, so you don't have to go all the way back up to the top to close it, which is useful. They changed the, uh, they added the border, like I said, the background on the, under the name. Changed the pictures a little. Glossary, bestiary, they added the same, the backgrounds and the borders, making it look cleaner. Pretty much it. Alright. They did the same with the characters, I believe. Yep, characters just a little smoother font change. And then they add books right here, so you can look at all your different books, quest books here, regular books here. That's nice. And then crafting is solid, the same pretty much. They just added the, you know, the colors, the font changes. So let's go back out and look at the world. I got to let's go find a uh, a fucking stash so I can see if they updated the stash too. I'm really liking these map changes. Oh, and they moved the, uh, it looks like they moved the the name and the description into the middle of the screen instead of being in the bottom left hand corner where it was kind of covered up. Cause, like before, load times on PS4 still suck, but uh, I'll get, hug it over it. Really should get a PC to play this. Then every time I fucking die, I wouldn't have to wait four minutes to play again, but that's alright. I wish they would have updated it, because in mine, uh, slight spoiler alert if you haven't finished the game yet, in my game, Nilfgaard wins the war, and I wish that they would have made it, replace like Temple Guard and the Witch Hunters with Nilfgaardian soldiers, and change the, uh, post game, or end game, it's called because it just kind of feels weird. It feels like I'm still in the middle of the story, which sucks. It feels like Radovid's still alive, and non-humans are still being heavily discriminated against in Novigrad, even though they're not no you in charge. Let's see a stash. I wish they would have moved the stash somewhere else <laughs> instead of being on that fucking stage. So they just, uh, they didn't really change anything much. I was hoping that you'd be able to uh, separate things better in here. But it looks like you can, oh no you can't move anything in there, you can move, now you can put food, you can put food in the storage now, let's see what else, other, and, uh, other you still can, yep, you can add bo you can put books in storage now too, crafting and alchemy, yep and you can put crafting and alchemy supplies in there too, alright so I think they changed, I do think there's definitely a graphical upgrade, as far as I can tell. Apparently they updated it so after sex scenes, Garrett will uh, he'll have his clothes back on now. But then I went to a barber right before I started this to change my uh, haircut because I had a haircut I don't really like anymore. And he didn't have his shirt on anymore after it. But I think that might have been because my Viper armor was on. I don't remember. But yeah, the game definitely looks better than before. It looks like they changed some stuff about the graphics, not too much. Maybe just because I haven't played in a while, but I don't know. But either way, I'll be bringing you guys some uh, blood and wine content when it's done downloading in a few hours. Super excited. I'll probably upload some quests and possible uh, alternate changes and stuff. and di Alternate dialogue options, I should say. But that will only be probably tomorrow when it's done downloading. So if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And stay tuned for some more Witcher 3 content if you want to stick around. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.